Hey guys, there will be different series on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, for Office, for Identity and for Cloud Apps. I will link those playlists in the description box for all of those series. The first introduction video is this. In this, we will learn what are the services provided by Microsoft 365 Defender Suite, what is XDR, and what is Microsoft Defender XDR? Let's begin with Microsoft 365 Defender. This is a security package from Microsoft that protects different parts of your digital life. Like for example, your email, your computer, your applications, and your online accounts. So this Microsoft 365 Defender provides integrated protection across various Microsoft 365 services. So it combines threat protection capabilities from Microsoft Defender for Office, NDO, and then Microsoft Defender for Endpoints, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, and Microsoft Defender for Identity. So Microsoft 365 Defender provides these services. Now what is XDR? XDR stands for Extended Detection and Response. So this integrates and correlates data from multiple security tools. So it is getting data from many security tools, like for example, all these security tools and other security sources across an organization's environment. XDR goes beyond uh, the traditional endpoint detection and response, that is EDR, or network detection and response, NDR capabilities. So before all these security tools were isolated, now XDR unifies them. Because of this, you can see patterns and also act on them faster. So you can respond more effectively to security incidents. You have more visibility and context to the security incidents. And because of that, you can respond more effectively. And this minimizes the impact of breaches. Now, what is Microsoft Defender XDR? So this unifies endpoint, email, app, and identity security in one place. So the XDR solution automatically collects, correlates, and analyzes data, signal, threat, and alerts from all across your Microsoft 365 environment, including these, that is endpoint, email, app, and identities. It can automatically stop attacks and remediate affected assets. So this is a cloud-based solution. This is required pre-breach, that is before breach, as well as post-breach. So what XDR does, it coordinates prevention, detection, investigation, and response across endpoints, identities, apps, email, collaborative applications, and all of their data. Let's look at an example. This is an example from Microsoft.com itself. This is an example of a phishing attack. Imagine that an employee in your organization gets a phishing email and it has a malicious attachment. And this user doesn't know it is malicious or it is a phishing email. So they go ahead and open the mail attachment. So there is a malware in this which gets installed, which in turn gets the user identity and then the attacker uses that identity to move laterally to I mean to move to other devices, assets and get more information, sensitive information, they start to exfiltrate. But now imagine that there is Defender Suite installed. Defender Suite in the sense all the services provided by Defender Suite, that is Defender for Office 365, Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, and Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. First is that there is Exchange online protection. So Exchange Online Protection is part of MDO, that is Microsoft Defender for Office 365. So Exchange Online Protection can detect the phishing email. And once it detects the phishing email, it uses flow rules. These are also called as transport rules. These rules are used to make sure that the phishing email never even goes to the inbox of that employee. 
and then microsoft defender for office uses something called as safe attachments you don't have to worry about this right now i will explain it in the later uh, videos of these series but for now understand that there is something called as safe attachments in mdo which will test these attachments and determine that it is harmful or not not harmful and if it is harmful based on how you have set up your rules either the user cannot do anything with that uh, email attachment or it never gets delivered to this inbox at all and then there is microsoft defender for endpoints this is for all the devices so mde detects uh, device and network vulnerabilities okay and next there is defender for identity this gets to know things like privilege escalation or you know if there is any lateral movement that is happening this gets to know any weakness related to user identity and then there is microsoft defender for cloud apps mdca this usually notices anomalous behavior like for example impossible travel request uh, that means suppose say i am in the us i'm trying to log in maybe within a uh, 5 minutes or 10 minutes there is another login with my user id from india so that is an impossible travel so it will alert the admin saying this is happening you can also take actions automatically it can also identify anomalous activities like unusual download you know sharing sensitive files mail forwarding activities all this can be identified using microsoft defender for cloud apps so this is how all the services that are provided by microsoft 365 defender act when there is an attack now let's look at microsoft defender xtr architecture so here you can see that the xtr gets the signals from all of the defender components and it combines all these signals to provide extended detection and response capabilities so this includes combined incident queue that means there is an incident you will get all the alerts triggered from all of these microsoft defender services in that one incident it combines all those alerts together and provides it in one incident and then there is automated response to stop attacks you don't have to wait for the admins or analysts to take actions automatically this can be done and then there is self healing self healing is the ability to automatically detect and remediate security issues without any human intervention and self healing is for compromised devices user identities and mailbox is and there is also cross product threat hunting and threat analytics now there is microsoft defender for office so like we mentioned before it is going to safeguard your organization against malicious threats posted by email messages email links or urls that are in the emails and collaboration tools and this shares those signals with xdr and then exchange online protection provides end to end protection for incoming emails and attachments and the next one is microsoft defender for endpoint mdi like you can see this is getting the signals from azure active directory as well as on premise integration of adfc that is active directory federated services and on premise active directory domain services so it uses these signals to protect your hybrid identity environment uh, this can protect against hackers that use compromised accounts to move laterally across workstations in the on premise environments okay and then there is microsoft defender for endpoint this is getting all the signals from all the devices then there is microsoft cloud app security that is microsoft defender for cloud apps this is getting all the signals from your organization's use of cloud applications and it protects data flowing between you, between your environment and these cloud applications using this you can also sanction what cloud applications you might want your employees to use also unsanction cloud applications that you think might pose any threat then there is azure ad identity protection this is microsoft entra id protection now this 
evaluates all of those sign in attempts that is happening it identifies if there is any risk in those sign in attempts and based on this any account access is allowed or prevented you can set up something called as conditional access we will talk about this in the later videos but for now understand that there are something called as conditional access policies which can be configured to allow or prevent account access as per your organization's demand so azure ad identity protection that is microsoft entra id protection is licensed separately from microsoft defender xtr okay all of these come can come under xtr uh, license but azure id ad uh, identity protection is different it uh, is included with microsoft entra id p2 and all of these shared signal right that is from all the components of microsoft defender xtr can be integrated into microsoft sentinel microsoft sentinel is the sim and source solution by microsoft but not only microsoft sentinel you can send these signal data to other logging sources and all of the data you can see in the defender portal that is security.microsoft.com you can see the incidents alerts devices emails how to set those policies that we were talking about this is related to all the email policies mdo that is so all of that you can see under security.microsoft.com the defender microsoft defender portal so that's it for today guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section or if you need me to make videos on any specific topic or tool please let me know in the comment section i hope this video helped you understand what is xtr what is microsoft defender xtr what are the services provided by microsoft 365 defender suite if it did please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos that will help us a lot thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye bye